Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my TBR for the Reading Rush, aka Booktubeathon as it used to be known as, hosted by Ariel Bissett and Raylene something. I don't know what her last name is, um, but I will link both of them in the description box below. I have been following Ariel for years, pretty much ever since I started my Bookstagram account, and I love her. She is so sweet and funny, and I love that she has put together this challenge, which I have missed for the last, like, three years every time it like pops back up into my head I'm like oh I need to participate in that it's already happened and I just miss it so this year I am determined to compete and complete the challenges it is a little bit different um it's now the reading rush and they have a website which I will link down below as well that you can sign up for and interact with other people who are competing um you can win badges for each challenge you complete and you can win a separate badge for reading seven books which used to be one of the challenges but is no longer one of the challenges this year um i think it's a, i think it's a really really great idea it's a really fun way for people to read more to interact with people who are also really interested in reading um and just to have some fun with their reading. So let's get into the books that I'm going to be reading. So the first challenge is to read a book with purple on the cover and I chose Raven by Cami Garcia illustrated by Gabriel Piccolo. I have been following Gabriel's account on Instagram for quite a while and my boyfriend and I actually dressed up as Beast Boy and Raven for Halloween last year based on his versions of them and it was so much fun. Tons of people recognized us. I will try to insert a picture here maybe not um a lot of people recognized us it was really cool and a simple way to dress up my boyfriend did have to paint his face and his neck and his hands green um but totally worth it so much fun um i love the original teen Titans series i sometimes watch teen titans go just because it's what's on tv when i'm home during the middle of the day but it's not the same it's not as dark as the original series is um but it was regenerated for kids obviously so not my thing but i do watch it every now and again um but i'm really excited to read this and see his take on raven it's supposed to be set in like modern time and she's not our normal raven i don't think she's meant to be like a demon king's daughter or anything i think she's just a normal teenager so it'll be interesting to read her in that setting it also does include a snippet of Beast Boy um, the comic that Gabriel Piccolo is currently working on illustrating uh, which comes out next year I believe and I am super excited to read that one as well but this is for my book with purple on the cover challenge so the second challenge is to read a book in the same spot the entire time and one of my goals this year was to read more graphic novels so Raven definitely ticks that and this does Nimona by Noelle Stevenson I have just been really wanting to read graphic novels and when I do these reading challenges I always pick full books which is not a smart thing for me to do because sometimes if I dislike the book I get into a funk and I don't want to read the next book and I don't like to read multiple books at one time which I should do when I'm reading doing a reading challenge but I really just can't help it um I don't really know what this is about it looks kind of like a D&D &D, um sort of basis thing but it's got really good reviews it's supposed to be super cute and fun and it's a graphic novel so it should be really quick and easy to read I'm probably either going to read this in bed or on the couch I haven't decided yet but I think it'll be quick to get through and fun that way I don't get bogged down and I can continue to read at a quick pace the third challenge is to read a book that you meant to read last year and this was kind of difficult for me because I don't keep a lot of books on my shelf unread um, previously I would not go buy new books if I had more than two unread books on my shelves which was just like a money saving thing for me um, now it really doesn't matter and I have tons of unread books on my shelves that I'm buying just because I know I'm gonna want to read them eventually um, and I can afford to now which is great but one of the books that I had on my shelf was because you'll never meet me by Lee Thomas it has two male characters I don't think it's anything romantic it's just about their friendship 
and bonding over these like sicknesses kind of that they have. Um, I'm excited to read it. I haven't read a contemporary book in quite a long time and sometimes I do just need that break after like an intense series. Um, so I think that this will be a nice read. I'm having some difficulty with reading right now but I think it's just like a personal funk that I'm in, not really a reading slump. Um, so I'm hoping that this is like a cute fun story about friendship and summer stuff that will help me a little bit in that area. Challenge number four is to read an author's first book and I picked Tithe by Holly Black. Right now all of the copies are being sold in this modern fairy tales collection book that is huge but like I said I'm just reading the first book Tithe. I read all of these in middle school I want to say. I got them from my public library and I really really loved them and they kind of sparked a lot of my like reading interest in like fake creatures and fantasy um, and I'm pretty sure that this is her first um, book series. I'm excited to read it again and kind of get back into that world be because I am seriously missing Cardin and Jude right now and Mel to the Annie has been reading it and she mentioned that some of the stuff has been changed so that Tithe, Valiant, and Ironside all kind of connect with the Cruel Prince series and she is not a fan of it, but I wanted to read and see if I can pick up on that myself um, and see if it really bothers me that much. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but we'll see how I feel once I actually read it. Challenge number five is to read a book with a non-human main character, and I'm going to double up on this challenge and use Raven to complete it. Oh. which I just realized won't work because in this setting she's not like a demon. Yeah, this won't work. Huh. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure the main character from Tithe has like some fae sighting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the main character in Tithe is like part fae or she has some fae sighting so I'm just going to go with this. Um, that really sucks. I thought that that was going to work for both of them. Hmm. Okay, the next two challenges I am doubling up on. Challenge number six is to read a book with five or more words. So I am reading Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I have also read this. I read it a couple years ago and I lent my copy to a friend and she moved to Oregon like a month later and I never got it back from her. Every time I talk to her, I just feel like it's been too long to ask for my book back and she probably doesn't have it anymore. But I loved Me, Earl and the Dying Girl. I thought it was such a sweet book and the ending killed me. Um, and it also fits challenge number seven to read a movie to book adaptation, which you can see right here. It says now a major motion picture. Um, I love the movie as well. I love Thomas Mann. He is a great actor and I am excited to revisit this story and to watch the movie, which is part of the challenge, I believe. So those are all the books that I'm going to be reading for the readathon, which is July 22nd to which is July 22nd to the 28th, I believe. If I'm wrong, I will try to put it right here. If you are participating in the readathon, please let me know. Join the website, talk to me about the books that you want to read down below. I am super excited. I am super excited to be participating in this readathon. I am also participating in the Magical Readathon Newts section next month in August. I feel like participating in readathons helps me read more, but sometimes the pressure gets to me a little bit and I don't enjoy the books as much as I was hoping to, which is why I picked smaller books. That way I know I have plenty of time to read them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!